The Dallas Cowboys are going to probably end up being right about this one. There's no reason to fuss and bother and gripe and grouse because Malik Turner is leaving Frisco, but he is, Mike Fisher reporting from Frisco, home of the Dallas Cowboys, where in our conversation with Stephen Jones, the Cowboys COO a couple days ago, he talked about, oh, we're going to lose this and we lost him and we lost that guy and we got some concerns about that. He never did get around to mentioning Malik Turner, who showed a great deal of chemistry when he did play uh, at wide receiver, uh, chemistry with Dak Prescott, that is, showed some ability as well. Of course, he's a guy who's bounced around the league a little bit, and now he goes and bounces to the San Francisco 49ers. He had a workout with Arizona in this free agency period, a workout with San Francisco, and away he goes. Uh, this is probably something close to a veteran's minimum deal, and the Cowboys' disinterest, I guess, tells us volumes about what we thought of Malik Turner, which was a little something, and what the Cowboys think about Malik Turner, which is we're not going to bother. So away he goes while the Cowboys continue to rely on the idea of C.D. Lamb, the eventual idea of Michael Gallup, uh, the hope for reboot of James Washington, and then uh, something shy of a big money free agent in uh, NFL shopping, and maybe the idea of a free agent shopping period after the draft, where there might be another veteran that comes on the cheap. Cowboys are obviously focusing on drafting a wide receiver as the helper. So Malik Turner is out. Malik on the move. He is now a 49er. Now we can look at the Cowboys moves versus the way the 49ers roster has been built and say, I wonder if the 49ers know something that the Cowboys don't. And you can really say that because the last team, uh, time these two teams played, well, you know, fish out.